Hello. Hello. It is I, Fletch. Another stream? Two consecutive days in a row? Crazy. Madness. Never happens. Well, today it is. Uh, yes, hello. It is I, Fletch. And uh, welcome to back to another session of Dredge. Uh, really enjoying the day. The, the day? Blah, blah, blah. Teeth not in yet today. Really enjoying the game. Uh, and I thought I'd get back into it for another kind of like Sunday Sunday stream, Sunday lunchtime. It'll be a Sunday fishing. Um, yeah, I hope you hope you're all well. Uh, I think I got everything right this time around. I think I managed to send out all the links that I really want to send out to people to let them know I'm streaming. Uh, I have to say, I do I do with the starting screen. That little kind of like early bop. I just love it. Such a great song. Little kind of like getting you hyped, ready for the stream coming. Really enjoy it. Um, and I hope you're all well. I hope you're all enjoying um, your Sunday. Uh, I hope you've had a good weekend, like from yesterday. Uh, I hope you're chilling today, wherever it is you're doing. It's going smoothly. And uh, we will we'll get back into doing doing some dredge. Just trying to think what we did last time. We've met the the collector. He's given us some things for us to find. We've spoken quite a lot to the mayor because he always seems to do is follow us around. Um, Winnie has now just climbed up the back of my chair. Is now perching on my shoulder, kind of looking at the screen, going, "What the fuck are you doing?" Uh, sorry again, no webcam today. Um, again, it's just. It's feels a bit easier when I'm not having to always try and like emote. Like I, I think I emote enough with my voice anyway. Uh, I will probably look into just doing like a a Winnie cam that I can put on. Because uh, at the moment I have both webcams combined, so if I turn on the one, that means you're going to see me as well. Uh, so, but I'll try and work on just doing like a just a Winnie cam. From as well, she always kind of moves around and stuff, so uh, not always the easiest to care for. You know, cats be catting and all that. Uh, you probably noticed uh, I've moved the, my little follower account because I didn't actually realise that all the time yesterday when I was talking about the time and like probably the direction I was going in yesterday, no one could probably actually fucking see it because I had my follower goal covering up the time. So I moved that across, I made it a bit smaller. Uh, get 88 clowns so far I gathered. Only 12 more until I reach 100. So I think it'd be... I'd like to try and hit a hundred by the end of August. I think if I if I actually put get my head down and start doing more consistent streaming and making it enjoyable for you guys, I think we can hit a hundred. And for my like hundredth follower, um, I might do something special. Maybe like do a special uh, stream of some kind, play a game that I don't usually play. Maybe do a little bit of a giveaway or something as well. You know. I'm always uh, open to ideas and suggestions. Uh, anything else done? Uh, we uh, we managed to get some materials, so we got the little dredging equipment, so we can actually pick up materials like metal and wood. Cloth, I think, is another one. And uh, we helped the builder move onto her own little island. We helped the grieving father get some uh, an item back from his lost son. What else did we do? I think that's really about it. And so we've uh, we've done quite a bit for the town. Going.
think. I think I accidentally muted myself, guys. I'm really sorry about that. I moved my microphone a bit. Um, don't worry. I wasn't saying much. Uh, I was just saying, uh, let's get back into it. And uh, I was just going over like what I researched. Um, I was... Because uh, I know we just kind of upgraded our uh, fishing pole. So we can now do coastal and shallow off the one pole. Uh, and I was looking to upgrade to the next kind of like engine. It's kind of like my next goal. I uh, don't know how much money I have. Oh, I've got quite a bit of money actually. Um, so if we go to the ship right, uh. have a look at the engine. The output mod, how much is it? They're 300 each. Uh, I forgot to say hello. Hello, Fletch. Hello, Esther. How are you doing? I remembered to post a link and say that I was actually streaming today because I forgot about yesterday and after we had that conversation saying so you wanted to see me stream more and I felt really bad. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh yeah, no, it was a good stream and it's like, and then I remember to say like, fuck, I didn't put a link everywhere. <laughs> and there were people who said they wanted to see me streaming again. So, I made sure to do it this time. I need to, I need to be better. I need to be more professional. Uh, right. What is on our what's on our pursuit list? Uh, oh, reading another book for engineers companion. Maybe it'll do something better for our engines again. Our pursuits. We gotta search for relics for the collector. We gotta catch an aberrant fish. Uh, oh, there's only really two things we gotta do, so we can get on with those. We'll make some money, um, get our engines upgraded. Uh, try and find some more research points. I think so. Today's just gonna be like a really Oh, actually, one thing I did want to do. Because, um, I think uh, we can hopefully upgrade. Was it research I need before? It is. So I need definitely one research point because I want to get the, the hydraulic uh, rod so we can do oceanic. So we can do some oceanic fishing. We definitely need to right up what else we've got going on here and uh, we need to get some more materials and money to do these so uh, butterflies cargo spaces to also hold rods and plus four net space we haven't done anything with nets yet I haven't really looked into those so that'll be interesting to do uh, so let's look at our map so the collector has said oh we need to go to Gale Cliffs no idea who she is I'm sure she's lovely. Uh, apparently there's meant to be something there we can collect. But we've got other bits around that we can go to as well. Like Devil's Spine, Stellar Basin, and Twisted Strand. So yeah. Uh, so we'll, I think we'll do just a bit of fishing normally for now. Just to kind of build up some funds. And then we'll go off and do some more collecting. But uh, how are you Esther? How's your, how's your weekend going? I hope you're having uh, a lovely and kind of like smooth time, whatever it is you're doing. Let's get these mackerels going. All my fishies in a line. Fish. I think we did quite well there. Uh, what have we got going on here? Can we pick up anything from these ones? Um, oh, these are. Right, okay, so if we actually do some reorganizing, we could only really fit on two. I think these take up a two by two. Yep, they do. Oh, we only get the one anyway, so. Over here, what we got going on over here? Squid! Oh, and we've read a book. Put on one more. Uh, and that's 
all I'll be, be able to do for now. Got a f nice full hull. Let's uh, go sell up and see what we get. Uh, no plans. Uh, I'm saving money for the next week. Uh, a friend of mine come from Madrid, so we'll surely hang out. I think we'll have to go and uh, go and see Oppenheimer. Ah, very cool. I too am saving money. I'm currently living like a monk. But, uh, made some poor financial choices, uh, like last year when I was kind of a bit of a low point. But uh, everything's on the up and up now. I'm kind of uh, like get things back on track. So like I think my monthly food bill I've gotten down to like sixty pounds now. Just by basically just doing a huge like batch cooking of uh, a bolognese slash slash chili hybrid. Like extremely like it's good good food. Like it's lots of plenty of meat and veg and everything in there. But it's just so much cheaper to do it yourself than to buy like who. Well, I'm not going to go back out because it's dark and my sanity's rising, so let's sleep. So yeah, so I do, do a nice big slow cook meal, a um, couple of batches and portion it out and it lasts me for like a month. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to live like, a, live like a monk for about maybe six months to, between six months and a year, get myself financially back on track and then I'll be able to have financial freedom and be able to do whatever the fuck I like. Can't wait. But uh, I have a few friends that I've gone and seen. I don't know. I don't know if I've got any friends I've seen Oppenheimer, but definitely have had friends I've seen the Barbie movie and they really enjoyed that. Oh, this should be an aberration. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Cyclopean Flounder, Species Data Editor Encyclopedia. Well, that fulfills one of my little quests that I want to do. Let's have a look at the encyclopedia at it. This beautiful boy with this giant eyeball. Look at him. A sprawling jellied mass spills from a single eye socket. What appears to be a dark pupil is in fact the center of an egg. Oh. So it's not an eye, it's an egg? And it's like brain cavity, eye socket? Very interesting. Uh, ooh, I've finished the book. What was the... was it Engineer's? Yeah, Engineer's Companion. Equipment type that you use durability will lose 10% Oh, nice. Cool. Uh, so I'm guessing that would be like the crab pots and stuff. Uh, getting over it with mind and body, uh, relaxed mind. We'll do a relaxed mind. And get reading up on that. Let's uh, get back to my little. I really like this boat. It's a very cute boat. It's, it's a little tooty horn. Enjoy it greatly. Right, fishmonger. Have you got any of those mutants with you now? Yes, I do. Remember, any aberrant will suffice. I suspect they're all the same underneath. The fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, bringing his hands round the slimy body. Mm. Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth, and why don't you take these too? They're of no use to me. Sweet! Get ourselves a research points. Do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. <sighs> Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature quickly now. Oh. That's not terrifying at all. Fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. I've uh, left the fishmonger alone with a corrupted fish. He's now going to have a whale of a time. Fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. I can't go back in inside any more fish. That's no good. 
In that case, uh, I won't do any more fishing today. I will just go on the hunt for some materials and uh, actually, as I've just got those research points, I will build the oceanic book. Uh, Research. There we go. Research. Oceanic hook. A uh, hydraulic rod is now available in stores. Mm. How much is it? Uh, $410. How much was the engine? $300. Ooh. Oh, that must be much for now. My storage level we've got in there. No, just a few bits of materials. Okay. Uh, let's buy this for now, because then we can use this to um, get more fish in the future. Whaler. I just realised I caught a fish and I probably can't actually sell it until tomorrow. So it's going to be rotten. Be good. A beautifully coloured but deadly predator. We'll leave first thing tomorrow. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. Rest with that fish in our fucking in our hold, and then uh, we'll go. It's still shut, right? Okay. Oh, in that case, still. Okay. Uh, can we pop it in our storage for now? And just don't don't let me forget about it. Don't let me forget about the, the shark in a. In our storage, because we don't want it to stink everything else out. Right, we're gonna head off to uh, Gale Cliffs. I think it's this way. Yes. Hello, Diego, pirate lassie. How are you doing? Hope you're having a fun Sunday. How much um, uh, Baldur's Gate did you play last night? Cadron says hi to hi, Cadron. Did you both play a lot of? Uh, I played too much. Yeah, I thought you might do. Yeah. I'm not. I'm, I thought. Oh, that's quite close. No, it's not. They're actually very, very far away over here. I think I can see. What's that in the distance over there? That must be. That, I think that might be the town. Why is it? Is that like dead zoning? Or is it? No, it's just the swaying of my ship. Okay. I mean, the important thing, I guess, would be to ask is, while playing Baldur's Gate 3, did you achieve what you wanted to achieve with the, the your vampire boy? Bit of like, you know, sucky sucky and all that. Anything in there? Mm. That 
Max Big, whatever that is. See, I never got to go out to like the open waters in the demo, and it does actually feel quite terrifying. What is that? Hmm. I'm guessing because it's the gale cliffs, you get gales and like water spouts. I'm guessing. ship, like, dock. Let's, uh, let's dock up and see. This place has to offer. Oh, I can bring my storage across. Amazing. Uh, let's see. Retired whaler and Ingfell resident. Let's speak to the Ingfell resident. Ah. Oh, they have a dog! <coughs> what is it? Uh, do you need help with anything? <laughs> I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Yes, I can bring you an aged Thank you, you'll be decently compensated. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, where can I catch Congreal? Ah, oh. oh, yes, uh, they can be tricky to find, but I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fishing, uh, fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Uh, oh, and I did mention that they only come out at night. Uh, yes, I believe they hide during the day. Good luck. Anything else? What can you tell me about the cliffs? Hmm. Uh, making my lunch. I won't be able to write, but I'm here. No, that's no problem at all. It's cool. No worries at all, Esther. Uh, many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legend tells of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliffs as their hideout. Supposedly, they got into some disagreement, and a huge battle was fought around the south side of the cliffs. There certainly are a large number of wrecks in that area. Both sides were completely destroyed, their treasure hoards left abandoned and unclaimed to this day. I dare say they'd be worth a lot if anyone knew where to find them. Anything else? <laughs> Do you know of any odd characters around these parts? Hmm. Have you heard the tale of Margran? He was an old whaler from these parts. As the whales got more scarce, the crew spent longer and longer at sea trying to find them. Margaret, it seems, wasn't cut out for this. He formed an unnatural attachment to the scroll he found on one of these trips. He says the scroll told him how to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him Margaret the Fishman. One day, the town awoke to find all these boats, nets, and lines had been slashed in the night, and old Margaret was nowhere to be found, nor has he been seen since. Anything else? Where can I sell my fish? <laughs> we catch our fish ourselves here, so we don't have much need for buying any, but there's a merchant uh, that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. She buys and sells almost anything, and she does repairs too. Anything else? That's it. Nothing. To. Mm. Retired Wheeler, what is it? Uh, are there any shipwrecks around here? Uh. The real wreck around here is a settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved on over to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting his decision now. The devil. Have you heard anything about strange things in the area? Mm -hmm. Some time ago, just after the last well was brought in, there was a sudden exodus from Gale Cliffs. Dozens of ships sail past, packed up and hurrying away north as fast as they could. They were waving and shouting something at us from their boats, but we couldn't make it out. Never did see or hear from of them since. Anything else? Uh, can you tell me about Ingfell? Uh, Ingfell used to be a whaling town, emphasis on used to be. 
uh, we would go out, bring in carcass, and then the rest of the town would get to work. But the wells got scarce some 20 years ago, and now look at us, barely scraping by for a new candle. Anything else? Oh, that's it. So this is Ingfell, so I'm guessing uh, Elk Cliffs are actually inside. Oh, this must be the merchant. Ahoy there! You're a new face. A fisherman, I take it. Perfect. Well, we should get along like a house on fire. Ha ha! I'm a traveller and a merchant. Oh, rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I haul a small cargo, uh, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to pursue this, peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see when you're ready to trade. Say, have you met the photographer? She stopped by my pontoon a little while back. She's loaded up with fancy camera equipment to take pictures of all the wildlife. She sighs wistfully. I wish I had my own camera. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to document everything you do? You'd never forget anything. Anyway, she said she was setting up a small island to the south of the Marrows. If you're in the area, maybe you should go check on her. I could do that. Fish market. Uh -huh. Sell seventy thirty seven. Okay, nay, we're selling. Cool, so I don't have to worry about rotting fish. It's good. Mm. Oh, I like how she has like different tools for what I'm doing. Uh, I used to, you might use the dry docks on other ports, but we can make some thermogrades to boat here at the floating dock. Check it out. All right, so it's grades, and then I guess shipyard is mm. yeah, where I can buy stuff. Oh, and she sells equipment too. Refined metal. Research parts. Three fifty each. I didn't realise they were that expensive. Okay. Uh, he's got something else to say. Oh. Hey again, come by for a chat. Uh, do you need any help with anything? Assistance from an angler? Absolutely. I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish. Is located. I figured out most of them on my travels so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Reckon you could share your info with me? Sure, I can help with that. Great, the fish I've left to track down are the ore fish, uh, gulper eel, uh, goliath tiger fish, and coelacanth. Uh, I know a little about each species already, so maybe I can point you in the right direction. Mm. Uh, what did you want to know? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to do it now, so I'll get that later. Hmm. I know. Uh, yeah, we'll talk more about anything else. Fuck. I just wanted to sell my big fish. Ooh. Shiny. Another message in a bottle. Item. Artifact manifest added to cabin. Vessel, the Sea Grand Prize. By owner was Michael Schultz, uh, Port Gale Cliffs. So on this, the manifest uh, of the boat's uh, uh, oaken music box. Purchased from the Ang Antiquarian. That's how you say that word, doesn't it? Purchased from the Antiquarian at Little Marrow for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from an undiscovered ship, undisclosed ship shipwreck, as the letter J carved on the underside, otherwise in reasonable condition, has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism. Pending inspection by locksmith. A wooden mask. Carved wooden tribal mask, said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protection from evil spirits. Rated for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. 
I don't know if that's a fair trade, really. 12 piece tea set. Bone China. Six cups, six saucers. Acquired from an Eastern dealer. Do not use. Jar of Earth. I've got a jar of dirt. Uh, a jar containing Earth from a meteor impact site, allegedly. Interesting. So, where else can I dock in? So I can dock in maybe up to here or something? from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Ah. Oh, ah, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? Uh, <laughs> this place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I, I've been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I have been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. <sighs> now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. Uh, I could help you move to Ingfeld. <sighs> it's not that simple. My brother would never. You see, I used to live in Ingfeld with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. He, we fought a lot, mostly about how our parents and parents should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness, foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature, it dragged debris from the houses down into its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. The lost calls, I know. But if you were to find it, it's a uh, large, whalebone crest. It would mean the world to me. I'll look for it. Ah. Thank you, but please be careful. Uh, what else does it have? Ah. Hello again, what can I do for you? Uh, what am I supposed to be doing? No, um, I know what I'm supposed to do. Do you know uh, how I could clear the debris around here? Hmm, ah. you'd probably need some explosives to shift those rocks. My brother at Ingfil used to make explosives. Uh, for the whaling operation, as you see, nasty stuff. But with whales, the whales all gone. I can't imagine he's still in business. What else? What do you want to know? Uh, mm, mm, I don't really need to know what else I'm doing. Uh, it patrols the passageways of the cliffs, but its lair is somewhere towards the centre of by the large waterfall. I'm sorry, it patrols. There's something. It's move. Uh, mm, I don't know if I'm actually going to go look for it now. <laughs> I've marked the area on your map. Perhaps uh, you could look uh, there for it, but it's too. If it's too troublesome, don't worry about it. I thought it's just going to be a case of like you know, go to a location and just like dig it, like dredge it out. Not that I might have to avoid something in the dark. I mean, I don't have to go in in the dark, but sorry, there was a, a noise and my controller vibrated and it scared me a little bit. Ooh. You know, I'm, I am gonna... Ooh, no! Oh shit! Fuck me! <laughs> uh, uh, yep, yeah, nope, we're uh, going... <laughs> no! Uh, I've reconsidered my thoughts! to go back to her to repair my ship. The relaxed mind reading complete check plan for events. I will do once I get to the dock. Okay. Uh so that's the first kind of like big thing we've seen. Uh yeah. Yay more fishing. Uh I don't know if you saw what we just like found, RT. But it wasn't fun! <laughs> How are you doing, I hope you're well and having a, a nice Sunday. 
uh, and a good weekend. Oh. Uh, uh, repair 90. What did you find? Uh, well, so I had just spoken with an old man uh, who was like saying, oh, we need to find his family crest, but like a, there was like a, a collapse, debris fell, and some creature dragged it down. And then I was like, yeah, sure, I'll go look for the crest. And then just as I was thinking to myself, oh, I'll wait until it's light time, because in the dark, like, obviously you get panicked and things happen. Uh, as soon as I went to turn around, a giant creature uh, took a swipe at me from inside there. And it was big. Not fun. Not fun at all. Uh, so I'm now just repaired myself because I damaged myself on the rocks. Crack no, it didn't look like a kraken. It looked like a giant spiny crocodile. I would say probably is the best way to describe it. Or some sort of like eel, maybe. So I'm going to wait for daytime. And maybe go back in there? It's funny because he said the word patrols. So I was like, yeah, I mean, I'll probably be able to like get round it or something. But yeah, no, as soon as I went inside, uh, it appeared. And I didn't really get a good quick look at it, but. You know? There it is, see? That thing. What are those things? Ow! Taking one damage, it's fine. Just keep an eye out for it. I was looking for a waterfall. Through there. If there's a waterfall. Go another way around to it. Maybe if I go around the back. attacked while I'm dredging. That's a new fear that I did not think I'd have to think about. Okay, we got it, got it. Got it. Got it. Right, it's now dark and I'm terrified. <laughs> oh, oh, my lights are out. No, this is not good. Not good at all. Lights are out. Lights are on. Got the haste back. We're going. I don't know where we're going. Oh no, those are rocks. Fuck. Two bits of damage, so I think I can only take one more hit. I am shitting myself. This is not fun. I'm having to avoid Gale Cliffs, so I don't know where I am. I'm going this way. Why did I agree to do this? Mad.
controller keeps vibrating, which isn't fun. It makes me think that the thing's like underwater and about to get me. <laughs> chicken. I'm not chicken! I went and got it! I'm a brave angler! His whispering. <sighs> right. We're repaired. We're fine. We're repaired. Sanity down. Get my sanity back. Rest of the morning. Ooh. Uh, I think I can read a new book as well. What did I? That's mine. Ten percent resilience to panic. Thank you. Needed that. Uh, suits. Did uh, show family crystal hermits. Uh, mm -hmm. red, apparently, uh, oh no, ah, ooh. I suppose so I could give it directly to the the whaler, but I don't want to give it to the whaler because I want to reunite them as a family. So I need to return it to the hermit. Do for you. Is this your family crest? <laughs> you found it! I never thought I'd see this beauty again. But now I have a further favour to ask. Would you take this to my brother at Ingfil? Tell him tell him his brother is sorry and would like to come home. Alright, okay, now I can return it. Do it. Let's do it. Let's Let's take it home. Yours, uh -huh. gods. I haven't seen this since. So he did take it. I knew it. Brother, sorry. Will you let him come home? Uh, he's in real trouble over there. Your brother needs to move back here. Uh, uh, brother, sorry. Mm. I don't know if I was in a right state when he left. Uh -huh. Okay, fine. He can stay in my old workshop at least for the time being. But I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you could do something for me. See, I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathways through the cliffs to make a shortcut with explosives. I was able to set a charge, but the cliff seemed particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. You just need to get in there and set it off. Not far in. I left some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Oh, yeah. Cool. I know where that is. So I can go back in. So will the beast be there as soon as I get in again and hit me? I hope not. It'd be a real pain if he is. So I think I'm guessing this is kind of like the quest that will let me um, unlock explosives. Which is, uh, by the way, chat if you didn't know, uh, explosives are Artie's uh, speciality. Oh, there he is. Goodbye. Oh, it's still chasing me, fuck! Yeah, bye. Still coming, still coming! Yeah, 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 I know. Ooh. 
that was close, chat. Better not can fucking come back out again. A uh, pile of loose debris, the gaps between the rocks, you can see what appear to be large white teeth. Sorry. There's a long fuse trailing out from the side. This must be the location where the whaler wants to clear a shortcut. Light the fuse? Yes. You light the fuse. The debris crumbles away. You should let the whaler know. I will. Now we have a shortcut to get into here. I have a feeling that it's going to be something like behind the waterfall. I don't know if I can actually... Shall we try and shall we see if I can go into the waterfall? Will it, will it just like... Oh, we can go to the waterfall. Not fun. Oh, there's a chest! Perfect. Look inside. A rotten chest sits atop a pile of rubble at the back of the cave. Uh, ooh, fine metal. It's a big bag of doubloons! Pick up. Fine. And some refined metal, which is now fine. Uh, more spooky eye! Hey, James, how you doing? And there's something in here as well. I can't fish this. Why can't I fish this? What's, what's that? Some sort of eel. Let's uh, go back out through the secret waterfall. Oh shit, it's getting late. Well, we've unlocked a shortcut now, so we should be able to get back. Uh, outside in the garden, uh, with beer in hand. Sounds like a perfect recipe for a Sunday afternoon. Um, right, let's see if we can get out of here without awaking the beast. Just sneak on out, you know. Sneak on out. Tired whaler. You've done it! We heard the blast from here! God's the echo! I'm surprised the cliffs didn't come down on your head. I've got things ready here. Go and tell my brother that he can come home. I will do. The sneaky rocks. I don't think those houses were there in the day. Like, I have a feeling that those are like spooky panic houses that I'm seeing things. <sighs> Streaming my fave clown. Oh, you! Wait, is that because I'm your only clown? <laughs> are you seeing other clowns? <laughs> Tell me cheating on me with other clowns. Uh, beers and barbecue, bloody lovely. Ooh, barbecue. Do like barbecue. What happens if I am, because I know. Something honks, hon honks back in you, <laughs> at you at the night, you know, you've got to be... <coughs> ah, fucking hell. Thank you. Thank you, RT. Was that the button that wasn't working yesterday for you? Ah, ah hello again. What can I do for you? Finally! Uh, your brother forgives you. I'd, actually, I don't think he did forgive you. Um, He just said you could move back in. He does. That's a huge weight for my chest. One so old I hardly remembered it was there. <laughs> right, well I'm packed and ready to go. Uh, 
Oh, uh, luckily I've got space for you, old guy. Let's uh, pick you up, pop you in, pop you in here. If you touch my big bag of doubloons, you're gonna be in trouble, mate. But let's uh, let's take you home, and hopefully not crash into anything spooky on the way. Like that, just rock that comes out of nowhere. Ooh, no, light, no go out. No, light, no go out. Light on. Well, here we are. The hermit notices the old whaler standing on the dock waiting for him. Huh. Little brother, you're home. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was so foolish. We both came. We both were. Come on inside. Let me get your bags. The two brothers walk away down the dock. One of them pauses for a moment and turns back to you. Oh, stranger, if you ever find any more debris that needs clearing, I'm working on making some more packed explosives. Oh. Come by the old whaling yards any time. Hey, I've unlocked explosives. Uh, do you ever do clowning IRL? Uh, the Southwest Pennywise. Hey, worlds, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Um, so I can do some clowning. To be fair, I've actually recently I did get rid of my old clown costume because it was uh, getting a bit worn and had been on one too many nights out down the two pigs. Um, so I do need to get a clown costume, but I can do a little bit of balloon animals. Uh, I can do a little bit of juggling and some other kind of clownery is possible. Because uh, whenever I used to dress up at Halloween and go out as a clown, obviously to scare people with clown based fears, I had to make it real to them. Like it's like, instead of it being like, oh, it's just a dude in a clown costume, um, it'd be a case of uh, I'd do like the balloon animal and they'd be like, fuck, it is, it is a fucking clown. Ooh, you in Southwest Fletch? I'm in Brizzle. Yes, uh, we're uh, I'm in the lovely county of Gloucestershire, uh, in Nam. It's uh, it's all uh, all quite local. I believe Brizzle's not too far. Uh, let's see. So we've re we've reunited reunited the. Uh, Whaler and his brother. <laughs> you weren't there, man. Nobody's <laughs> no one like comes to Nam and goes away the same. That's for sure. Um. Right. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to dock. Uh. Can we speak to the oh the whaling yards up there? Mm. Uh. Here, this is on the house for all your help. Nice. Some packed explosives. Oh, he uses hollowed out whale teeth. Uh, packed with a powdery substance, a fuse calls up from the top. So I'm guessing I do, if I want to go clear stuff, I will keep it on me in my inventory. And he sells them for $40 a pop. It's not too bad, I've just realised I have very little money. So we're going to rest here. Uh, I am going to travel back. Uh, to um, uh, Little Marrow. Is it Little Marrow? Greater Marrow. Greater Marrow. Uh, well, actually, going to that same area because Little Marrow is in Greater Marrow. Uh, we're going to see the trader, I think he is. Oh, look, dolphins! So I'm guessing this might be to do with like the uh, wildlife uh, update. So, like, maybe when I get a camera, I can take a, a picture of the lovely dolphins swimming alongside me. Can I toot at them? Can I? Oh, no, that's wrong button. Uh, toot. Toot. Oh, they've disappeared. I scared them away with my horn back. Whoops. Ah, oh, finally. Looks like I've actually managed to work out the, uh, the horn scares everyone away. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, is that as well? So that makes me... No, because it wasn't boom, boom for Toad and Toad Hall. It was poop, poop, wasn't it? Poop, poop. 
I'm thinking of Basil Brush with Boom Boom. Unlocking childhood memories. Realise actually thinking about it, there were a lot of puppets in back in the day in children's TV. Might explain a few things. The trader. Uh, welcome. Found anything special lately? Uh, yes, this big bag of the doubloons. Uh, you can have that, uh, uh, and I'm going to keep the material. Sell, sell trinkets. Uh, go to my storage. We'll pop the refined uh, metal in there. Uh, I'm going to keep the packed explosives on me. There is something I want to blow up. Uh, and look. Uh, let's go check in on the fishmonger. Great Amara, because last time we gave him a corrupted fish and then he locked himself away with it. And I couldn't get back in to sell him anything else. So let's see if he is actually back in business. Because if he's not, I'm going to have to keep bloody sailing over to um, uh, other places to sell fish. Fishmonger? Oh, there we go. He's, he's awake. Ugh, blinding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? Uh, nothing. I just wanted to see that you're actually still alive. And you are, which is all good. Uh, so, I think what we'll do today uh, is we'll do we'll do some more oceanic fishing. Because we now have the ocean, the line that we can use. It's already quite late. You ocean fish. Or you shallows fish. Oh, nothing fish. You've disappeared as I flew over you. <laughs> flew? Sailed. Words. I don't know. Things. Swam. Dark. Spooky. The things out in the dark. And we did actually find another trawler uh, over this way. There was a scared gentleman inside. I he's still there. Or did he leave? Hello. What's this? Ah. Uh, you approach a hooded figure, swathed in dark blue robes, their face barely visible. Fisherman, please help. You can barely hear their rasping whisper above the wind and waves. The hooded figure unfurls an old paper scroll. They point to a shape shown at the top. It appears to be a blue mackerel. Uh, I don't have a blue mackerel, but I tell you what, buddy, just for you, I'm going to mark you on the map uh, as a. Uh, what are you going to be? You're going to be. You're going to be a question mark for now. I'll come back with a blue mackerel just for you, buddy. Uh, blue mackerel are in the shallows, so I need to go in the shallows somewhere and find you a blue mackerel. Oh, there's another shiny over here. What's this shiny? No, oh, it's a, a wreck. The rotten mass lays down on this island, half hidden by the fo foliage. That, 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 that. Foliage. At its base, an old boat is cracked in two. Ooh, the balloons. Loot. Nice. 
Uh, don't worry, Jeff, I haven't forgotten. I will, oh my god, eyes. It's fine, it's okay, it's no problem. We're all good. Toot toot. I swear that that like really dark house on the hill is a Stabuki house like here. Yeah. Because I didn't, I forgot to check in the day when I slept. But I bet if I, like if I were to rest or if I were to look back in the morning, it won't be there. Oh, no, get away. Go away. No, don't like whispers. No. I'm just going to take a short rest. Just a short rest until the dawn. Dock. See? Are they there? Nope, I don't see them. see them. Uh, we need the spyglass so I can see. That's new fish. Uh, dredge fish. Or maybe the blue mackerel I can only actually get from like little marrow, greater marrow. Right, in that case. Don't worry buddy. It'll just take me a while, don't, you know. I'm going to go to somewhere where I know I can get some blue mackerel. So, do we think the hooded figure... Figure? The hooded figure. Do we believe that it's them they are hungry? Or is it, am I feeding the blue mackerel to something else? That's a whale! a nice little display for me. Yeah, thunder and lightning. Somewhere. Love the fishes. How was your fishing in uh, Final Fantasy XIV the other day? Oh, actually, uh, funny you mention that, because I was talking to my friend Lorena, um, about the Final Fantasy fishing. This is one I mentioned, like she has the spreadsheets for all the kind of stuff and all that jazz. And we were discussing about the whole difference between sitting and standing while fishing in that game. And apparently there could possibly be a difference uh, due to um, like animation times. Like say if you're on a timer to catch something it could be a case of, like nothing confirmed yet. Um, if like you're uh, sitting, like it may, if you're having like once, because apparently when you catch something, you always, you always stand up. But then if you then return to sitting again, like does that is that encountered like counted in the timer or is it not time? Just don't know. Um, so yeah, and I thought it was quite interesting. Ooh, trophy caught. Now, do I give them the trophy fish? Where's the hooded figure? Nah, I just got my paladin to 51. Fair enough. Fair enough. Something else blades. That's that's bad juju. Bad whispering juju. Oh, go away. I'm being aggressively whispered at.
slightly deeper. You, you the needs to. I'm going to give them the trophy fish. With expert precision, they plunge their hands through the gullet of the fish and tear out their heart. They stuff it into their mouth unceremoniously. Ugh. More still empty. They point to another shape on the second scroll. This one looks like a tiger mackerel. I don't have any of those, but I know where I can get them. Did they just eat the heart? Did they not eat the whole thing? Do I get the other bit back? fuck is that? No, thank you! <laughs> Run away! Not fan! Not a fan of that at all! <laughs> Where's it gone? Is it gone? <sighs> Did not like! <laughs> I didn't know things like that could happen! <laughs> that was it was definitely a thing. As things go, that was one of them. Did it hurt my ship? Oh, I'm on two damage. Uh. Go sleep. And dock. And then sell stuff, maybe buy things, repair myself. It was terrifying. <laughs> it moved so fast. I didn't know what to do. Please repair. Thank you. Uh, can I can I sell you things? No, I cannot sell you things. Markets. Buy fish. <laughs> there, there. Oh boy. Um. Was definitely a, a thingy, a jiggy. Don't know what that one is. Uh, oh, that's what I want. Tiger back. Very nice. to the dock and pop that other bag of doubloons in my storage. So I don't think I can sell it here. Uh, oh, Simon, did you just try posting a link? Because I think I may have disabled those. Oh, I just wanted to share the clip. Thank you for clipping it. Uh, please don't ban me. Well, no, that's why I've got the uh, restricting links on, so I don't have to like monitor it as I don't really, I don't know if I have any mods present at the moment. Uh, I thought the easiest way for me is just to like say no links because unfortunately there are people out there who uh, like to post malicious links so uh, I thought just easier to disable them. And generally if you have like a mod in your chat or whatever they can usually either repost it or like allow it to push it through so that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, we've uh, done all our current books, I think. Uh, 
getting over it with minor body, 15% resistance to panic, so I've got a, currently a 25 resilience to panic, which is good. I mean, I don't think it really helped, because in real life, my heartbeat is going quite fast. What have we got here? Sailfish. Oh my god, he's big. Uh, well. Well now. But I can't. Can I pop it in here until? Uh, right. Let's let's do some rejigging. Uh, is that going to be big enough? No. No, it is not. Ah. Can do this. Nice. Okay. Note to self: selfish. Pretty fucking big. Uh, map. Uh, I'll just put the link in the Discord instead. Then. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, is the person still going to be here? Ah, that joy of ramming a sailfish onto your boat. Yeah, you tell me about it. It's so satisfying when it kind of fits... T <laughs> it's, uh, when it's tucked snugly in your in your hull. Or still empty. They point to another shape on the second scroll. This one looks like a tiger mackerel. I have one of those! Again, they rip into the flesh of the fish. Drawing out its heart, it's consumed as quickly as the first. Almost fulfilled. They point to a fish on the final scroll. This one is a snake mackerel. Uh, I don't have a snake mackerel. So we will come back to that. Uh, so let's go. Uh, let's go sell the sailfish because it's taking up a lot of space. Want to be rid of it. How you doing, Verena? Uh again I was uh, I mentioned you talking about with uh, Incubus James about the Final Fantasy fishing and the spreadsheets. Uh oh I didn't mention the fact that you also have tracking websites for weather and whatnot. Because I from what I understand, you don't really take the fishing too seriously. You've only got like a couple of spreadsheets, and websites. You, know, you haven't you haven't gone too overboard with it. <laughs> no, no, not too overboard at all. Tell you what, guys. Every now and again, I get a uh, not a whole monitor dedicated to it, <laughs> and timing macros. Um, because I've got the slow cooker going with the bolognese slash chili hybrids. Every now and again, I get like a nice waft of it come up the stairs into the room, and it smells fucking yeah. It's on point. <sighs> Uh, sell everything for a hundred and thirty-eight dollars. Uh, three hundred. Oh, I think, i tell you what. Uh, okay. I, oh, I'm on the wrong side. There we go. You're three hundred, aren't you? You are. I'm going to sell an engine. I'll give you up. I'm going to sell you. And I'm going to buy you. Some ways where it can be. So then, and the next 300. Uh, according to my completion log, I've caught 85% of the fish in game. How many 
do, do is do you have a number of how many fish that is? <laughs> and still no sodding warden of the seven damn hues. Well, like we were discussing that one earlier. Like that's the one where you have to do like three chain, small chain fishing things. Like one fish is bait for another fish, which is bait for another fish. And then once you've done those three, then you can do that one. And you will have to do it in a certain time period or something like that, I think you said. Uh, the twin prop engine. Lots. That one lasts three days. That one lasts six days. Oh, I think these have actually increased with my... Because I have a, a trait that it says increases my durability of... Uh, whatchamacallit's uh, equipment. Uh, not, didn't want to do, to do dry dock. Yeah, so I need, I do need to get more materials. If I can do better hull uh, and what not. <laughs> Catch a rare fish. Search for relics. I still haven't done that. I should really. He's probably getting quite pissed off with me the fact that I haven't done any of the relics. <coughs> Sailfish. Uh, impossibly quick, but the bill and sale don't sell for much. I mean, $120, not bad. I wouldn't turn my nose up if someone offered me $120 right now. Uh, somewhere in the region of 1,150 1, fish. 1,300 fish. That's a lot of fish! Uh, oh. Not sure the most number of the numbers. That's fair. A rough, uh, a guesstimate is sufficient. A trader. Uh, storage. Sell. Just the timer on that message, because before it wasn't appearing at all, and now it's appeared. I think, I think it's appearing every between 10 and 15 minutes now, and I didn't set it to that, I think I set it to something else. Uh, and there has been an expansion and several updates for fish since. Nice. Uh, so, uh, what was the fish I needed to catch? Uh, pursuits. Uh, a snake mackerel. Don't know where that is. Have to catch a rare fish. Find a rotting conger eel. What about you? You fish that I know. Uh, oh, your blue mackerel. Why don't I get out the? Ooh, hello. This all. Right. Okay. Blue mackerel. What's that? Sailfish. Go flounder. The selfish, I think. Yep, the selfish. Dal. Don't have that Dal yet. Uh, where's the town? There it is. Would definitely feel faster. I haven't caught yet. I haven't caught that yet either. Uh, Tiger mackerel. I haven't caught that yet either. Ooh, uh, dredge. Uh, there's two new sorts of fish over there as well. Fish! Start fishing. Uh, oceanic perch. Nice. 
Again, another new kind of mechanic. I like how this fish only takes up one slot though. Very nice. Ooh. Oh, I see. That wasn't a trophy one. So if I'd waited, perhaps. Yeah, if I had waited for the yellow one, then I could have gotten uh, a trophy perch. I'm just going to catch fucking all of them. I'm going to deplete this area. Look at how many are you getting? Loads! And you. This is usually for sure you are. Wait, no, you're not. Ugh! Stonefish. Uh, oh, I'm going to do a bit more. I'll pop you down there. Oh, you can go there, and then you can go here. Then I'm going to have much space for a third one. I don't think. I don't think I can actually fit another one, can I? Um, I've got, yeah, there's no, nope, because the headlight takes up the other space, I haven't got to just deal with that. Just going to have to sell those, which I'm going to do right now at the travelling merchant, sell these fishy fish. Uh, so they're not really like how much they're worth, like five ish. So not really worth getting unless it's. But yeah, these are worth more getting the stonefish. Uh, but I do need to find the. In there, so spooky. Stonefish. That thing. Here? Is this it? It is. Oh, it's a research thing. Nice. Very nice. Very happy with that. Uh, and yeah, let's um. Don't get too close. Up. Uh, make sure to use explosives. Set light fuse. Nice. Does this, does this create a shortcut? Fuck's sake. I need to get some more. Okay. We'll do a little turn around inside and we will. Oh, bollocks! <sighs> Literally just tapped. Just tapped. Didn't even. Didn't even go in hard. I've lost a bloody inventory slot. <laughs> I still haven't found out where the um, that eel I'm looking for is. Mm. Uh, repair. Not again. Josh! Perfectly good sailor. Uh, yeah, 
this. I'm still looking for um. It's not that. It's a uh, black grouper. Stonefish. Ooh, what's that? New. Was that meant to be fighting? Snake mackerel. I need to find. Hopefully, this is a snake mackerel. I've just noticed my eye is still quite uh, up to Did it just disappear? Just as I was about to go catch it, it's disappeared. It's like, oh, well, there's this over here. We'll try and get that instead. Fish! Black mouth salmon. Nice. Sell them. Oh. Is that really all they're worth. They're good. Good. No. Oh, sorry. For a second, I thought I could sell all for like twenty-one dollars. Like what? But sell all for one hundred and twenty. It's not too bad. That's far more acceptable. <laughs> um. Oh, and I'll pop that refined metal in the storage as well. Um, right, let's have a look, see if we can find Togo Mackerel. Looking for that's black mouth salmon. Looking for something that could possibly be snake mackerel, was that what they were called? Black salmon. Salmon stonefish, stonefish, bridging stuff. Ooh. What I haven't caught yet. Fit another one in. No, I could not. But so you bad boys, see what you're worth. <coughs> Fifty five each, not bad. I bet there's someone like online who's uh, figured out like, well, you know, per like for size to price ratio, you should only really be catching some things like groupers or something like that. Oh, you could possibly be a snake mackerel. Sturgeon. I'm going to name you Nicola. Get it? Nicola Sturgeon. <laughs> I need a bubumch, like, sound alert. Man. Translucent sturgeon. Very nice. The simple clockwork mechanisms of life laid bare as a tenuous skeletal existence. 
Primitive looking fish with hard spiky plates lined up along its back. Uh, I almost bumped into the side again. <coughs> What on earth is that noise? Someone else out there? Just in case, I'm going to uh, turn back to the, the haste modifier. Ooh, that. I have to go, Fletch. It was nice interacting with you. It was always a pleasure interacting with you, Esther. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. And uh, I look forward to catching you soon in a future stream. I'm pretty sure I just saw a boat. Ooh, nope, don't want to go near that. That's whispers bad, but I'm pretty sure I just saw another boat. You guys see the other boat? <gasps> There's another boat! Okay, that, that horn doesn't sound quite right. Oh, it's coming for me. Oh my god, it's a fish. It's like it's like an anglerfish. That is. That is ooh, rock! Fuck! Ah, oh. oh! When did I last save? <laughs> hmm. So, uh, we're gonna put that down is uh, to learn. We've learned very valuable information. And that other ships out there could possibly be big fish pretending to be ships. So, so let's see where my last save is. Because I hope the game auto saves, like when I exit stuff. But uh, that's first death, guys. First death. Um, I suppose the best way to check is to look at the encyclopedia, maybe? Got the wreck fish. What was the last fish I caught? Oh, it was, um... Oh, it was the sturgeon! No, oh, fuck. I lost Nicola. Oh, stingray. Nicola, no! Bronze whaler. Uh, they were around there, weren't they? Oh. Guys, we lost Nicola. I have to go find another one. I mean, I was still technically looking for the snake. Oh, oh here we go. We can get those sturgeon again. And this time, not piss around in the darkness looking for other ships because they're not ships, they're fish. Can I dock up with you, please? 
Right, let's uh, let's sell Nicola this time. 146 just for two sturgeon. Nice. Okay, they're worth a lot of money. We are up to five hundred and sixty dollars. I can actually start probably buying some things, um, like doing the rod spaces and whatnot. Two cloth and some wood. I don't have any wood. Modifies all rod spaces into also hold nets, so I can do nets and rods. That's cool. Uh, two rod spaces. Uh, modifies two character spaces to also hold rods. Number five. Again, need wood for that. Uh, shipyard. Mm. Uh, yes, we were going to sell uh, our other uh, motor. This one. And then install it uh, to storage. And then we are going to buy this one. So hopefully, I should now go super quick. Uh, how much money do I have left? Oh, there's a 275. How much do you cost? 90. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to sell that, and we're also going to improve our lights. Uh, install, put it into every slot on your ship. Nice. But now, we should have better lighting, which I do. The lumens are better. And uh, we are a little bit more speedy. A little speedy ship. Uh, so we still need to. Uh, so we found the sturgeon. And we've got the abyssal. Well, not abyssal. The aberration. What the fuck is that? Uh, these are the aberration ones. That's why. Was that a snake mask for? Devil's spine, maybe? Is that what it looked like? In pursuit, does it show? Ah, right, okay. I was hoping I might be able to, like, identify the shape, you know, match the shape with what I can see in my encyclopedia, but I can't remember what the snake mackerel looked like. Um. Let's rest. Just gonna scratch my ear because it itches. <coughs> cool. Right. I tell you what, one thing we do need to do, because uh, I think I've been putting them off for a while, is to search for the relics. Apparently, there's a music box in Gale Cliffs which I need to find. So, and I think yeah, it's like literally. Oh, it might be what I need that um, uh, explosives for. Uh, I will buy explosive from you, please, good sir. Let's go blow up some more. Oh, definitely, I definitely feel the speed now. I'd like to see those things fucking catch me now. Upon a loose debris, it could be clear to make a shortcut. Use explosives. You set the charge and light the fuse. Got a nice pair of earrings. Sapphire earrings. And now we can dredge this. The music box. Do enjoy the different mini games for each kind of like thing you do. Big boy, big old relic. Right, let's be careful. Uh, 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 uh. Right, 
so let's go back to the collector with this. Um, we're also going to equip this because I still need to find the fish. If there was any other fish around, Red fish again, no fish. Right. So we, we need to find, I think it's called snake mackerel, wherever they're called. Just kind of want to see if there's anything that I haven't caught yet out here. Tiger, like anything which is just a. What's that? Mackerel. Oh, that was abyssal. Bellfish. Jump for that. Drink it first, though. Nice. Another bag of doubloons. Alright, let's dock up here. What do you do? Expedition site. Oh, it's the photographer! Ugh. Ugh. Hello? Sorry, would you step out of the way for a moment? Uh, you're in my shot. We move to the side. A few seconds later, the photographer sighs in exasperation and mutters to herself. Uh. No, this simply won't do. Uh. The angle of this lens is all wrong. I'd never get a close-up shot with anything of anything but this. And the others, I fear they were lost overboard. Uh. She sighs again and looks off to the west. I was sailing from Stellar Basin, you see, squeezing my boat through the narrow gap between two islands, and then I crashed into some coral. I thought I heard something in the water behind me, so I dared not stop. If you're able to retrieve the lenses for me, uh, let me see. Do you remember just through a few belongings and survive the trip? Mm. I have a spare camera that I won't need. You're welcome to it if you can find those lenses. Ooh, I can get myself a camera. I'll mark on your map where I think I lost them. Thank you. Right. Uh, we shall carry on back to Greater Marrow. To hand in the collector, what are you? Selfish. I just something I can't catch. I thought I just was done. Ah, yeah, we're right there. God, we might roll. What are you? You're something new. And I can fish you. But now it's probably gone. You, so you, right, so you get there in time. Or it disappears. Black fin tuna. Definitely bigger, which is very helpful. Anything to dredge? 
Stock. We shall sell the blackfin tuna we just got. Lousy weather lately almost makes you not want to get out of bed. But you and I, we've got a lot. We've got to do it, eh? We're what keeps people from going hungry. We are. Unless it's got to be some one of those like silly things where, like the first one you encounter is a fish pretending to be a ship, and then like there are actually other ships out there which you can like deal with or something. Uh, and then sell the rest of the trinkets for 110. We're slowly making our money, Matt guys. Uh, I think I will. Tentacles sprout from a glowing core inside a gelatinous sack. Other cores lay dormant alongside. Ooh. Now day. Uh, we'll go to the collector and sell. Or not sell him, but give him the um, the music box. Uh, hello. Ooh, fuck, 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 fuck. I didn't realise. Things would just appear regardless. Oh my god, I've doomed myself. <laughs> Fuck me. Blown one of my goddamn motors as well. I panicked. Ooh, what was that? That's a great eel. Trailer. Uh, other bits called Thistle. Thistle. Ah, oh, well. All that money that I made, now I've got to be spending on repairing my goddamn boat. <laughs> but there was a thing. There was a thing chasing me. Did not look pleasant. So you've returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. You dragged the massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. The collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? Yes. Ah, excellent. Ah. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. He selects one of the silver ribbons trailing from the crimson-bound book. 
opening it seem, uh, to some unseen page. Turning to catch the dim light, he whispers words on the page. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly, as though thrown high by a wave. He closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Now, there are yet more relics to find. Keep looking. Reef at Stellar Basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Uh, the words you read from your book, what did they do to me? <sighs> the book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one, one in particular you wish to know more about? Uh, manifest? Uh, use of these words will induce a trance-like stage. While in this state, time will pass in a blink of an eye. When it is over, you will find yourself here. Oh, I see, so it's like a, a fast travel. Always, as always, I caution against overusing it. Selectively and strategically utilize it when you need it most. Hmm. There are other powers if you wish to know about. No, I'm good, thank you. So we'll have to to look at that one and see. Can I get into a switch? Yeah. Go inside, go inside. It's locked, damn it. Uh, so map. Uh, ah, okay, so Stellar Basin. Just marked a couple of maps in there. Dark media. It's just the Aberration Squid. Right, well, I need to go and repair myself. Because I was chased by a nasty, which I did not like. Uh, right, okay. Tell me first if we're all the back, all the what does it do though? What does like this one tells me is a beware of overheating, but this one I bet it does something to my sanity, like it gives me instant insanity or something. I just got an achievement for depleting uh twenty five fishing spots. Go me. I mean Obviously, I would not say that in real life. Go be for depleting fishing spots. That'd be very bad. Need to do more sustainable fishing, Fletch. But in this case, because it got me an achievement. Yay! Overfishing! Oh, she's back again. Uh, the lighthouse keeper is waiting for you on the dock, looking displeased. I saw you sailing out towards the horizon, crossing that deep expanse. Do you really think that's wise? It was fine. Maybe this time. You need to be more careful. Even you, with all your experience, cannot truly know the ocean. Nobody can. Abruptly, she walks away. Her eyes scan the water as she walks along the dock. Oh, hello, Winnie. How are you doing? Yeah? Is that right? No, I don't think so. Probably for about another hour. Maybe two. Repair of 60. Engine's now operational, thank you. To the fishmonger. Sell the little shark, thank you. Right, two seconds guys, I just need to pop the controller down so I can scratch the cat. Because she wants some love. And I will give her some love. Because she deserves it, because she is a good little kitty cat. Yes, you are. Oh, you like those ear scritchies, don't you? You like the ear scritchies? Oh, yeah, look at that. She loves that. So what I do is I rub my thumb, like, from, like, the corner of her eye back to, like, the base of her ears, like, over and over. And she fucking loves that. That is a happy kitty face. Yes, it is. Kitty! Tell you what, just for you guys, let's turn this light on. There we go, that's on. And then if I hit, we just click to. Oh, shit, in front of, is it this button? I can't remember what the button is now. Like, control file? Oh. If, nope. 
Uh, I'll just have to do it the old fashioned way. This way. Oh, there we go. Uh, here she is. She's just getting some, some love. An intermission. Just, uh. See, she loves this. This is this is what she really likes. Just a little bit between there. Yeah, look at that. Again, love that, don't ya? Yeah. You see, you see pull camera over there. This is where all the viewers are. Here. Scritches. I haven't given some scratches for uh, probably about an hour or so, so she must be on the verge of thinking she's been abandoned. So, we're going to give her some scritchy, kitty scritchy time. So she knows she's loved, gets affection. Little massages on the ears. Yes, yes, we love this. A little under the chin scritchies as well. A little under the chin. Yeah, we like that. Yeah, we do. Don't know if you can actually hear her purring, but she's purring quite loud. Winnie! These scritchies. I'm trying to get the microphone close to her mouth. Try and hear. Can you hear? Oh, I think I just jabbed it in her face. Can you hear? Can you hear purring? I think it's going to get tired of this, right? Uncomfortable there? Do you think I'd be able to continue playing with you here, or are you going to... Interrupt me. He's thinking about it. He's staring longingly at me. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> right, I'm going to continue playing with you in my lap, okay? The moment you become a bit of a, a bit of a diva, that's it. You're gone. You're back down in your bed, or get some food, or whatever you want to do. Why did you stop this? This exactly was that look. It's like, why, why, why cease? I did not tell you to cease. Cats are great. They're like it's like living with an asshole that cuddles you every now and again, you know. Low maintenance, like you don't have to do much, just make sure fed water is and occasionally played with and you know. Yeah, she's going to be fine there. We will continue. And uh, do some more uh, dredge. Yeah, I need to click the right thing, so I need to go back to live scene. There we go, that's the one I want. Does like it. She very much enjoys the... Uh, like, just in around the ears is her favourite thing. Uh, right. What were we doing for the little kitty intervention? Did I repair? Did you repair? I sold the shark. Uh, I've got three. Got 
three research bits. Let's have a look at that. Uh, at this point, what is my current speed? Boat speed is 63. So, you can see the like 26 plus the 26. So, together that's uh, like 52.3. So my boat must have like a uh, like an eleven like on its own kind of thing. Um, so if that's like fifty-two, then what does the uh, research for this engine do? So well, the thing is, yes, yeah, so fifty-two point three. Uh, so one of those. Just trying to think how it all kind of lines up. I could do one of those with two of those, which would be uh, thirty-six point eight, and then two nine point five. So that'd be eighteen. <laughs> 19 plus uh, 36, so not really much more than what I've got going on now. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, and the rods, I do need to do the rods because this will give me, especially doing that one, but I think, guessing I need to complete both of these before I can get to that one. Uh really wanted more, that would do me like an abyssal, I can't do that until wait, can I just do that on its own? nope, obviously needs to unlock it somehow hmm mm -hmm. it's not the same obviously, but seeing a cat being petted is very relaxing it is, I always go because I've got a gif um, somewhere on my phone, or I've uploaded it somewhere as well uh, of times when I used to lie on the sofa and Winnie would lie on me and I'd just kind of stroke across her belly and I love watching that over again just because I just, it just look like it just calms you just watching uh, watching an animal be uh, so comfortable like purely relaxed does relax me uh. um, nets. we haven't got any nets yet to be fair uh, Alright, let's go off and explore, see what else we can get. We need to find these, um, what are they called? Snake mackerel or whatever they were? Uh, let's go back to Spyglass. So I want to see if I find to answer some materials. Let's go on the cards. Mackerel, coastal. I do actually need to get some wood. Um, to what we will do though, we'll, we'll quickly stop by and see the builder because we haven't visited her for a while. Uh, hopefully, she's been like getting herself set up with some stuff. And there's some materials there, and some cloth there. Uh, let's see how she's getting on. Thanks again for helping move out here. I've managed to get myself set up now. Fair enough. Storage. Storage can do here. Uh, got any wood I can pick up here? Is it wood? There's wood. Let's just pick up some wood. Uh, 
repair bit. Okay. So now in my brain is now worth checking all of the dredging sites because instead of me getting cloth, I actually picked up a research point, which I do need. a bit that you said no to. Fucking there might be a research thing in here. I do like the fact that the game does give you this little, like, okay, you can place it here while you're sorting your shit out, kind of like, option. That is really, really nice, kind of like, forward thinking. Which is what I'm gonna do. Uh, boop, 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 and boop. I feel like I do need to like organize this though. Two coke speeds is also hot rods. Uh, so we can that. Nope, we'll take from there, we'll take from there. We'll take from there. Uh, then we take these two. Gale Cliffs. Because uh, I need to do that um, aged Congregate yield as well. Which I assume Be aged. Like uh, she said, rotting 
in the like when we're talking, so I'm guessing I just need to keep it in my storage or something until it's like rotted. And then I can bring it back and give it to her. What the fuck? Uh Oh wow. That was cool. That was fucking epic, that was. I mean you'd never I doubt you'd ever see that on the surface because like Colossal Squid and um sperm whales, those are the ones, would like they would only fight like deep underwater, like I don't think you'd ever see that on the surface, but I'd like that they put that in the game. That was pretty fucking epic. Um, so wood over there, it's sturgeon. Let's talk to let's talk to her. What is it? Uh, where can I catch cotton? Hmm. Uh, yes, I'm told to trickly inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. Imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageway of the cliffs to find them. I did mention they only come out at night. Yes, I believe they hide during the day. Right, okay. I have to wait until night. Fine. Um, oh, uh, I was meant to, meant to buy some explosives. Uh, yes, buy a couple. It's easy for me to bump into things. There are a lot of unnecessary button clicks then. I'm always cautious when I hear noises around here now because I can see these little holes underneath the um, passageways. So I'm guessing that's where the uh, um, the beast that patrols comes out. More things to a uh, dredge up. Doubloon! A single doubloon. Is this the eel I've been looking for? Yes, it is! Perfect! Oh my god, they're long boys. Uh, we'll probably only be able to get a, another one. Whispers, whispers bad. Let's just see if I can find a way back home. September 1927. We'll go to the cabin to read it. He still refuses to take me aboard when he is working. He is convinced that I will find it dull or that the crew will be crass or otherwise intolerable. Perhaps I'm being overly needy. 
I know he needs time alone, but I am so desperately bored at home when he is away. You recently installed some salvaging equipment on the, onto the boat. I think the idea of pulling up treasure is terribly exciting. I must convince him to let me have a go. Like, you know, if she's showing interest, let's let her come along. Like, unless you're deliberately trying to hide something from her. Oh, no, whispers are coming, whispers are coming, whispers are coming. Fuck. Uh, where am I? What the is this? Makeshift on the campsite. Stand in the centre of the campsite. The fire's embers are cool, but ash is still steadily blow blowing out of the wind. Take a close look at the campfire. A large flat rock sits atop the charred wood of the campfire. A handful of tiny fish bones can be seen poking out of the ashes. Kick the ashes. You kick the ashes, your foot hits something hard at the bottom of the pile. You brush the remnants aside. It's a research part! You take it. What do you want to do? Uh, look for footprints. You find no footprints, but unfamiliar symbols have been sketched in the dust nearby. Some have been erased with hasty sweep of a foot. What do you want to do? Make sure tent. The tent is a sheet cloth suspended over some sticks. There's nothing inside save for a smooth hollow in the dirt somewhere where someone slept. Leave. Uh, and I will take this opportunity to rest. I thought maybe there's something changed. Guess not. Where the devil am I? Treasures and metal, and something over there. Sturgeon. Oh, we're definitely going to go for the trinket. Those trinkets mean money. Sorry, dredging. But yeah, but like, say, if you're partner, like, it's excited, like, she wants to come along and see what you do. He was like, just fucking take her. Because, uh, as long as, like, you communicate, say, look, the reason I don't think you'll like it is because of this, and she'll go, well, you know, it's her decision to find out if it's true or not, but she doesn't. Research part. And then, uh, if she doesn't, then, you know, we've both found out, and the relationship will be stronger for it. She'll just hold it against you for the rest of life, saying, Why did you let me come along? Why didn't you stop me? And you just have to bear with that. <gasps> what is this? Expect. An altar breaks through the waves at the base of the cliff. Three crab like creatures are carved into it. The largest is covered in rocks and the earth and other strange shapes. Some more trinkets. The ring, nice. Uh, right. So, uh, I have no idea where I am. Oh, I'm at the front, back of um, another trinket. And some materials and wood. Well, I'm going to go for the trinket, and then I'm going to go into Gale Cliffs and store one of the congreels and sell the other one. Uh, oh shit! Uh, 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 
have a full cargo. I just got an achievement. Okay. Um, right, so let us sail round and do the plan. So we are not going to sell all of the eels. We're just going to sell the one. Sell the most expensive one. We'll sell that one. And we'll pop that one in storage. We will go and look at the book. I'm guessing Art of the Tongue will either give me extra dialogue options or like give me the ability to um, uh, like barter more money for the fish I sell, maybe? things seem to be like appearing as the game seems to be going on. I don't know if that's because I'm like constantly in a state of panic or Marama's back at Greater Marrow. Ship, but I'm not. I'm wise to your schemes. You're just trying to lure me to my death. Uh, trader, uh, trade all my trinkets, uh, and I'll put that to storage and that to storage. Uh, oh actually, I could have just really rested there, can I? Rest until dawn. Right, okay, so apparently that's now rotting. Let's take that back to um, wood. Do we need wood? So we'll go back to uh, Gale Cliffs quickly. Um, see if the rotting congreal is like right, because like she said, rotting when um, like she said, oh, we call it age, but some call it rotting. La la la. So hopefully, it being rotting is good enough, and they want it. We shall see. I also have a question for you guys in chat if you are still there. So if I'm thinking of uh, doing a bit more streaming during like work days, because obviously like, I, I, when I finish work I get home around about between half five and six. Like if I were to stream like in the evenings or work days, what time do you think would be more appropriate for everybody, like including myself? Like would it be like a later stream? Because I definitely want to be going to bed around about just after midnight. So, like, the latest I probably would do is, say, like, 9 till 12, 9 till midnight. Or do you think I should be doing maybe a bit earlier, like, say, between 7 and uh, seven and 10? Like, like what would what would be your p personal preference, like, say, if you're chilling in the evening, when are you more likely to catch a stream between, like, say, 7 and 10 or 9 and 12? Just kind of, like, you know, crowdsourcing ideas, seeing what people would be... Uh, be amenable to. Uh, oh, do I need to take it from my storage and put it in my... Oh, shit. It's gone. Ah, right. 
Fuck. Hmm. So things will actually just rot into nothingness. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, right, in the meantime then, let's do a bit of research. Because uh, I now have six. So we could definitely do... I want to be able to unlock that one, but I can't. I can't unlock that one because I need these ones. Mangrove. So let's do... Uh, which one shall I do, guys? I mean, I can do both. Because I've got five. See if that dude is still hungry and waiting there. And I'm going to see if I can match uh, his picture to the book of my uh, encyclopedia. This is somewhere new. A rotting chest peeks out from the skeleton of a wrecked ship. Dude, is actually one that is all the way over here. Which I completely got that wrong. Another wreck there as well. Right, okay, we'll come back. We'll go see if this dude's still alive and is hungry. If he is, we will see if I can identify if it is what I think it is in my encyclopedia. Where are you, my guy? Here you are. Almost fulfilled. Find the scroll. Right, okay. <sighs> So I thought it was like the double spine. Is that the one? Is that what he's looking for? Coastal, devil spine, day or night. I mean, it looks like that one, doesn't it? 
So we need to make a trip to the double spine, which is uh, not too far. It's only up that way. But we're not going to do it now because we're freaking the f fuck out. Yes, yes, whisper, 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 whisper. Whis. Already as insane as I can be. There's a ship over there. Rock. Rock. Or rock. Fuck me. Yep, yep. Okay, yep. Right. Really wanted me to crash. Uh, the mayor appears in front of you on the dock. His face swims before your eyes. Uh, his words blur with waves crashing around you. Hmm. Are okay if see fog shapes. Rest careful, nightmares. You stumble past him into town. <laughs> Basically, that's just the thing saying like you need to rest. Your insanity's too high. <laughs> Rested. Uh, we will go over to the trader and trade in our trinkets, and then I will go up to Double Spine. We will look for the uh, snake macro, I think it was called, or something. Trade. Sell me trinkets. The devil's spine. I think it's literally. Oh, it's on the other side of this. Okay. Let's go this way around, maybe. time with that then. Snake mackerel, there we go, that's what I wanted. So I got what I wanted. I don't really want to explore the Devil's Spine too much more. I'd rather... Is that another whale? Mysterious figure, I'm coming with a snake mackerel for you, so you can consume its heart. I'm pretty sure that island doesn't exist during daytime. Damn 
whispers. Alright, I'm pretty much almost here. No, go away, go away, whispers. Go away. Ooh, Jesus. Uh, this way. There he is. What's up, dude? Almost fulfilled. Uh, I believe. I've got your order, sir. The fish has barely left your hands before splintered nails began peeling at its scales. The heart is extracted and devoured. Their head tilts upward at you. They take a book from inside their robe and hand it over. Younger, sated. Now I wait. They cross their arms and appear to fall into a deep sleep. Cool. Uh, well, you're welcome. Um, I'm reading another book at the time. Haggling and bartering a guide. Oh, nice. So I think I'm going to get two, like, barter buffs, essentially. Uh, cod. How you doing, Ragusa? Hope you're well. Okay, we need to try and avoid those little red misty bits, because... Uh, don't want to be attacked by the whispers. That is probably not a boat. That's probably another fish in disguise. And I don't want to be eaten again. Because that was embarrassing. No, go away. Go away. Oh, there goes the sanity. Sell the fish before I rest in a bit. They're fucking ruined, aren't they? Stale. Well, okay, they're still stale. Right, we might have time to sell them before they rot. Every crab can be found at every depth. Uh, when finding a spot to drop your crab pots, check, uh, maybe check your encyclopedia. That'll do. Return to town. Uh, don't really have anything else to do here. I do need to catch some of them eels again. And this time not wait so long that they actually rot into nothing get them when they just turn rotting so how is uh, Ragusa today? are you having a fun Sunday? Just woke up. You've been up late playing video games again. What's going on here? What was that? Uh, some ocean perch. Uh, anything else? Sorry. Just, uh, ooh, breakfast. breakfast. Salmon. Sturgeon. Ooh, there was another. Oh, and a oceanic fish I haven't caught yet. Absolutely. What was it you playing? Were you uh, playing more of the, was it Battle Bit or something? Brother? Oh, actually, no, I did see on um, it popped up my thing that you're playing um, Fantasy Star Online. Another game that we all tried to play together and then immediately stopped after like a few sessions. Uh, start fishing. It's a big boy, an ocean sunfish. All the content is out now. Oh, uh, cool. Nice. I don't think I would be able to actually have a... Oh, no, I might be able to, yeah. 
It only took them, what, 12, 13 years? Yeah, about that. Yeah, I remember you saying um, about like stuff taking ages for them to come out. Uh, oh, I don't need that map on my map anymore because uh, I've satiated them. Just gonna wait. engines in your ship and it makes you too fast and you keep crashing into everything and now I'm going slow. How the fuck did I get to this? Oh, God. Was this where that crab thing was? Oh, this is something different. Uh. Oh, okay. Yeah, so nothing responded to my touch then. inside the That's the one I need. I need the Congreal. Right. If I put you here, can I actually catch you? Uh, we're just gonna have to lose the metal. It's fine. I've got the Congreal. Uh, I'm now going the wrong way. Thank you. Spout. Right, so we are going to sell the sunfish, mm. which is going to be not a bad price. Keeping the column real to sell, we are also going to get ourselves prepared at the shipyard. Mm.
here. Five hundred, and it requires four wood, two metal, three cloth, and one. I'm guessing refined metal. Is that what that is? Yeah, refined metal. Uh, materials left here will be saved. Oh, so I can take it out of my storage and pop it in here. I'm guessing. Ready? Uh, ooh, wrong one. That's the case. That's actually quite handy. It does free up a lot of space. I love the music and sounds in this game. I love it. I'm really enjoying this game. Nice. Cool. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, it's Bomb! How you doing, Bomb? Thank you for uh, redeeming the, uh, the fart. I uh, hope you are well. And I hope you're having a marvellous Sunday. Um, right. It's so fresh. So I've got to swim around with this for a while. Until it gets to... Which I can probably put it in my storage. Uh, heel, 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 heel. Thank you. That storage. Uh, pop you in there. Bigly fish. This game looks good. It's I'm I'm really enjoying it. I'm like almost six hours in, and I don't feel like I've done a lot. But like the little bits of story and uh, stuff that's been going on have actually been quite fun. Uh, I will pick up some explosives. Um, I've got some stuff I need to blow up back at Great Marrow. So I'm thinking it'll take about a day for that fish to go from like fresh to rotting. And then once it's rotting, I can give it back to the lady. Because apparently it's meant to be a delicacy when it's rotten. Uh, is there anything on this island? In my reading. Oh, it looks like there is actually something there. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, so, what was. I just saw a 10% in, uh, increase of sell prices and 10% reduced buy prices. Nice. I'm thinking I'm probably going to get something similar from the haggling and bartering guide. Uh, but let's sail into here. What we got going on here? Spect. Pull up to a wreck with a familiar looking hull. It's almost identical to the ship given to you by the mayor. Except this one has a huge breach in one side. You're... You're tied up alongside the old wreck. What do I do, guys? Do I look in the cargo, or do I check out the cargo? Cabin or cargo? I think we should look in the cabin. See if there's any skeletons or something in there. Uh, you're in the cabin. Uh, look in the cups and drawers. Cupboards and cupboards have been completely and methodically emptied. All the drawers are missing. We're in the cabin. Try to find a loose floorboard. There aren't even any floorboards left. There. Check the overhead electrical equipment. Uh, the equipment is still there, though surely exposure to the elements have fried the internals. You angle the overhead radio down to get a closer look. A note slips off the top. You put it in your pocket to read later. We're in the cabin. Go back. Let's check in the cargo. You poke through the cargo hold. A few items remain, not yet lost to the sea. What can we have? Uh, a weak valve engine and some metal scraps. So we'll take the metal scraps, definitely. I mean, I can sell all of this. So we'll take it all. Oh, it can only go in an engine slot. Uh, in that case, we're not taking that. Uh, we can return for these later. Uh, oh, it's just a coastal rod. Basic fishing pole. So I can pop that there. Stall. Cool. Uh, and leave. So we could come back for that. Ooh, don't bash on the rock, Jesus. So if I wanted to, I could probably come back for that weak engine if I wanted to. Uh, where am I going? Yeah, that way to the greater map.
if I wanted to pick up that engine and come back and sell it. So. Right, I think, uh, what time is it? It's 7 to 3. Yeah, so I think I'll only uh, play until 3 o'clock. And that will be like my three hours of the day done. Uh, where am I going? Uh, and then later on, um, around about 8 o'clock this evening, I believe the GGHQ lot are doing a Wreckfest uh, night. So I might stream that later. If you guys want to observe the hilarity that is uh, GGHQ Wreckfest. Um, yeah, I also, because I need to get down and dish up what I've got in Sloka right now, then put it on for another another run. So that's now stale. We'll pop that into storage. That will be storage as well. Uh, 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 anything else I can do? Look, but I did have something. I believe there's like an explosive thing I wanted to do around here as well. Look around here somewhere. I think it's in this side. There it is. That will allow me into that area. Use explosives. Ooh. That gets me some refined metal. Find metal from that, that's quite nice. Uh, right, let's make our way back so I can remove, uh, remove the marker. Nope, remove, remove. And then we're going to take ourselves back to uh, the Gale Cliffs. I think it's the right way. Yep, a bit further around, so around this way. And then hopefully by the time we get back to Gale Cliffs. Uh, the fish may have rotted, or be getting to rotten. Oh shit, whispers, don't want the whispers, it makes me insane, don't want that. That is a big ship, we are running away from that. In fact, we are going to put haste on just in case. Uh, am I still going the right way? No, I'm not. I've turned. Things out here in the dark. Uh, don't aren't exactly what they seem. So you may look like another friendly vessel, but it probably isn't. It's probably a hallucination of some kind. Ooh, that's new. Not come across one of them before. That was terrifying. Not a fan. No, go away, whispers. Go away. Oh shit! Fucking hell! No! Took my refined metal, bastard! <laughs> Absolute wanker! I thought I was safe. Oh, Gorge, is it now rotting? Yes, taking it. The cargo. Influence. Ah. What is it? Here is the age congo you asked ah. for. Perfect. This will do wonderfully. I can offer you a small sum in thanks. Thank you. One hundred and fifty dollars. Nice. Oh, fucking took me goddamn. That's annoying. Rest. Get rid of the insanity. <sighs> you. Sweet. Fucking. Well, you know, these things happen. Not like I had to work hard to get it or anything, but. 
blowing up some fucking rocks and then using the fucking mini game to get the fucking refined metal. No, I'm not bitter about it at all. Uh, and I still yeah, I need two more cloth and two more wood. around I can go for stingray sailfish uh, no there doesn't be any debris uh, well let's head into the passageways then I think there's definitely some something in the passageways to get at yeah, might be something right here as well stonefish no. fish Wood. Five percent increased sell and five percent reduced sell, so fifteen now percent in that. Nice. Uh, good. Ooh. Uh, oh yeah, the fisherman's note. Deep sky, deep sky, deep forever. Casket seal broken. Fog four. Five equal cries. Not a clue. Deep sky, deep sky, deep. Casket, seal broken, fog, or five equals. I'm guessing that will come in, like, to play in the future. Right, so let's, uh, what we'll do is we'll go jump off this uh, salvage I've just picked up. So I was just spawned here, nice. Uh, and then it will be, I think it's gone past three now, so I shall stop streaming and go about my day with some more chores and stuff to do. Save and quit here. Uh, I sure want to exit, so your game will be saved. Confirm. So yeah, that's uh, another three hours of dredge done. I am very much enjoying the game. Uh, in fact, I tell you what, let's go back to because uh, I had the light on. Let's go back to the intermission screen. Hello, it's me face. A lovely face. You're all doing well. Uh, so yeah, uh, le fish au chocolat, and some sort of baguette. I think we're making a French joke. I think. <coughs> uh, so yeah. Um, hello. Uh, dredge done uh, for today. Uh, say I might stream later on the GGHQ lot. Are doing a wreckfest night. I might stream that. That might be a bit of fun. Um, 
I will try and do a couple of work like weekday streams as well. Again, I'm not quite sure if I'll do like late ones like 9 till 12 or something, or maybe like a 7 till 10. It depends on when I get home and like if I've eaten and stuff, uh, and if I've got anything else going on. It's difficult to try and really build up kind of like a consistent schedule with other things going on. And which is a problem because one of the main things that like helps you grow on Twitch is if you're consistent um, going forward. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'll keep you updated with what happens. Obviously, if you're following, you'll know when I go live. Uh, I always try my best as well if uh, when I do go live to post links and things, uh, places. If if there's like uh, automated uh, stream notifications, I don't bother on those ones because obviously it's going through on that. Um, uh, but stable base needs to come first. It's very true. Stable base does need to come first. Um, but you know, who who doesn't like to try and juggle everything at once? Um, I mean, especially with now going forward. Now that I know that I'm moving into a, a new role, maybe at the end of the month, um, with the with the job and whatnot. So again, might be a bit fluctuational with that. Um, but I shall keep you guys updated. But I, I just. I do really enjoy the streaming. It's a lot of fun to kind of like talk to you guys and interact and basically just like have fun playing a game with people to watch. It just makes it a bit more enjoyable. Uh, uh, and like if uh, if you guys do enjoy it and you know you want to kind of like help support me and stuff then obviously share those clips. I need to look at that clip that you actually did uh, earlier Simon. Uh, and like share it around. Let people know about the stream. Uh, kind of like Get this follow-ups because uh, again, there are 88 people following. Only 12 left to go to get to 100, and we'll do something special for 100. Either I'll play a game which I don't usually play, maybe something even scarier. Uh, maybe do a little bit of a giveaway. Who knows? Kind of see what's going on. But yeah, so that'll be kind of the plan in the future. But I'll let you guys know, and I hope you have a lovely rest of the Sunday. Uh, I made two. I put them in the self-promotion channel in Discord. Perfect. I shall look at them once I come out of here. Um, so yeah, we'll get that done. I'll keep you updated, and I hope you have a lovely rest of the Sunday and rest of next week. I'll see you when I see you. Uh, oh, I should sure go do the other bit as well. You gotta gotta share the share the love and uh, go raid someone. Um, always gotta share. Be sharing the love because if we don't share the love. Uh, what are we, you know? Uh, let's see. Well, it depends if anyone's streaming, actually. Uh... Is there anyone actually streaming? Uh, they are not. Not anyone, you know, because usually, like, the other people I'm obviously, like, following, like, you got the Yogg's cast going, it's like, they don't need, I don't need me to. Enjoy on to Yorks Let's see if anyone else is playing Dredge. See what they're doing. And uh, send you on to them. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, we have. Uh, let's pass you on to. Uh, let's see this person. Yeah, what they're doing. And they're. Are they talking? We'd like to. We'd like to go into someone who's, you know, interacting and doing stuff. Don't want to just go into like a silent stream. Here we go. Go to this person. Maybe not, because they've just ended their stream. What's going on with these people today? Can't can they being so inconsiderate? There's me trying to get someone to like you know come and see what they're doing. And they're uh, just close their streams. Uh, let's do it to this person. Uh, Xerosi, whatever the name is. So let's uh, let's do it to them. So we'll go in, show them some love, 
Another dredge player. Apparently they uh, they play Valor as well. It looks like they've literally just started dredge because they're speaking to the, the mayor. So um, that'll be quite cool if you guys can go in and say hi. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys um, during the week. Have fun. Love you all. Thank you so much for joining in and uh, see you soon. Bye.